Kaika Hele, and I believe he's just arrived right now. Yeah, he's just arrived. Aloha. Wow. Thank you so much for being here. Maria and I are truly grateful for all of you to take the time out of your day to spend this special moment with us, our daughters, our girls, our family today. I want to begin by saying mahalo to each of you those who came from the neighbor islands, my colleagues in elected office, my friends, my family, my supporters, thank you for joining us on day one of this journey. We are so moved by your presence. Today is a particularly special day for our country because it is on this day that we honor the birth of a man who dedicated his life to social and economic justice. Whether it was standing up for equal rights, the right to vote, or to end racial segregation and discrimination, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. inspired generations with the simple idea that one person can make a difference. One person can change the world. Dr. King once asked, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Growing up here in Hilo as a young boy, I was inspired by my hero, my dad, Gil Kahele. Dad loved Hilo. He loved its people. He loved being around people, listening to people, serving people, helping people throughout Hawaii find solutions for their problems and their adversities. His legacy was his passion for public service and helping others. What a tremendous gift he instilled in his children. That same love of people and that same love of service to community. We miss him. I know you miss him too. And I think about him every day. Today is also a bittersweet day for our family because it was on Martin Luther King Jr. Day three years ago when I found my dad at home having a heart attack struggling to survive. Nothing ever prepares a son or daughter for that moment. But I realized quickly my dad needed medical attention immediately. As we quickly left the house for the hospital, it never occurred to me or my dad or my mom that as we raced out of the driveway, that this would be the last time. He would leave our family home, never to return again. When dad passed nine days later, I realized my call to public service. Our family needed leadership. Our community needed leadership. There was work left undone and a legacy to carry on inspired by his dream, the dream of this gentle Hawaiian man from Mililii to build a better Hawaii for us all. That dream led me to the Hawaii State Senate and the opportunity over the last three years to meet with, hear from, and talk to people all over our community. And through those intimate conversations, they have shared with me their hopes and their dreams and what they want to do in their precious lives. They have also shared with me their concerns, their struggles, 
what keeps them up at night, and the economic challenges many face living in Hawaii. When I think of them, I think of my own daughters and your children and the Hawaii of the future that they will grow up in. And like every parent, we all want more for our children than we had for ourselves. We want the brightest future for them. We want them to have a secure job, sustained by a strong and thriving economy. We want them to grow up in a safe community and a clean environment. We want them to be able to attend outstanding public schools and have access to quality and affordable health care when they need it. We want them to be able to walk in our ohia forests, swim in our oceans rich with marine life, and see the Hawaii that we have seen through our eyes. But in order to achieve this, we need teamwork. We need focus. We need dedicated leadership and an aspirational vision. We need passion and compassion. We need courage and collaboration. We need commitment and humility. We need elected leaders working together. Leaders who put the common interests of Hawaii's people ahead of their own. And that is why, under the historic bandstand here in Hilo, where the hopes and dreams of generations came together to unite around a greater vision for Hawaii, that I humbly stand before you today to announce my candidacy to represent the people of Hawaii in the second congressional district in the United States Congress. <laughs> Mahalo. Thank you. Thank you. Some might ask, why now? In Dr. King's now famous I Have a Dream speech, he talked about what he called the fierce urgency of now, that there is such a thing as being too late. This is no time for apathy or complacency. The time is now for vigorous and positive change. I am also reminded of President Obama, who once said, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the ones and the change that we seek. That is why I'm standing here before you today, because I truly believe in each and every one of you and what we can do together for Hawaii. But the time is now. And no matter if you are rich or poor, young or old, gay or straight, or you come from Hilo, or Kaunakakai, or Kaneohe, Makawao, Lanai City, Kapa'a, Ni'ihau, or even from the small fishing village of Milolii. If you never forget that we are all in this together, that we are always stronger together, and if we are united as one, there is no challenge we cannot meet, no obstacle we cannot overcome, no destiny we cannot fulfill, and if you believe in that, I promise you we are going to build the Hawaii that we have always talked about but never have been able to fully achieve. And through the greatest gift Hawaii has to offer, aloha. We are going to march this state and country to a better and a brighter day. Mahalo nui loa and imua Hawaii.